Hello everyone, I've got a 4.0 Kerrigan video for you in this playthrough and I'm going to be giving you guys a strategy that a person in the comments had suggested to me that person is Valtour and this is completely this person's idea, not mine and what Valtour calls this strategy is Nidus Nightmare and we're going to be using this Nidus Nightmare strategy on the Oblivion Express Express co-op mission on brutal difficulty with Kerrigan. All right, so for power set one, we've got everything in Kerrigan attack damage. Now I talked to Valtour about this, and I'm I tried this out myself. I believe this is actually the better better way to go, especially for against air units. Kerrigan does a lot more damage and can handle them a lot better that way. For power set two, we've got everything for combat unit Vespian gas uh, cost reduction, and then for power set three, everything in uh, Kerrigan cocoon birth time. Uh, that's reduced as well. All right, we'll try and hop straight into this. Hopefully, hopefully my uh, teammate is here. Well, I had to find a different teammate. It looks like my previous teammate Jack ended up being away from keyboard for a little bit too long. So we're going to be playing with a random player for right now. This person is named Reckless and is going to be playing as Nova, Mastery Level 64. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is... Uh, oh, whoops. Got a contract. You might want to what we're going to want to do is pump out a drone, and then we're going to get out an Overlord right away. So right after the first drone, you pump out an Overlord. That way your uh, supply up here, that doesn't, that doesn't get capped out. And then you pump out another drone. Just a helpful little tip to get things going smoothly. And then... Uh, since we have the reduced uh, Kerrigan Cocoon birth time, I'm not even going to spend any time creating Zerglings to destroy the rocks. Uh, you get Kerrigan out and it's pretty quick so you don't really have to worry about the pre the pre Zerglings and using your minerals and uh, larva on those guys. Helps you really boost that economy quicker. And then I'm going to throw down an extractor and then a spawning pool right away. Extractor first. I should have been a little bit quicker on that uh, extractor actually, but that's okay. And then we're going to want to create another overlord in a second here because we don't want to get supply blocked. Got to keep that up consistently. And then the spawning pool just got created, so we want to create a queen right away as soon as that's ready. Okay, and I think now would be a good time to create another Overlord. We're at 20 supply out of 22. Okay, so uh, basically what the strategy entails is we're going to be creating Nidus Worms everywhere. So that's where the Nidus Nightmare uh, idea comes from. And we're going to have a Nidus Worm at our base, at our teammates' base, and then in between our expansions here. And then we're going to throw all of those nice worms into a hotkey, and those nice worms will spread creep for us, and we'll be able to instantly transport our units basically wherever we want on the map. So it, it ends up working out really well. And I'm hoping I can really effectively show you guys how good this strategy is. And we're not even going to really worry about getting our big army for the first couple of uh, waves, actually just because we're going to be focusing on uh, getting our economy going. Once we have our main base completely saturated and our expansion saturated, then we'll start building our army. And what our army is going to consist of is likely lurkers and hydralis, and then we'll get uh, zergling upgrades as well, and uh, fill whatever, whatever we have left with those zerglings. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and take out this uh, enemy wave in a second here. Gotta keep on trying to fill up, saturate the supply line. Okay, there we go. We got the first rocks down. I'm gonna throw a drone over there to start our expansion. 
speak. Looks like we're hunting And we're gonna kill these roaches real quick. Ah, looks like they have no burrow. Alright, so it looks like that was uh, roaches for the ground army. Hopefully they stay, uh, yes. stays as zerg ground. If it's Not zerg no air, it might be a little objective. tough with this strategy, but we're going to try our best. Okay, and I'm instantly going to get a lurker den. I want to get those lurkers out right away. And then I'm getting a hive, as you can see, right away too. Just because I want to get all of... I, this is just my preference, honestly. I want to get all of Kerrigan's upgrades right away. And that includes the ability uh, cost and cooldown reduction by 20% upgrade. And you can't get that unless you have a hive. Here, let's go help out Nova here. There we go. And you're going to see that this train's actually going to go down really fast. The increased Kerrigan attack damage. I mean, we've got Nova here too, but... The increased Kerrigan attack damage, I think, is actually, you know, all around Enemy just better. I don't know if it actually does more damage to uh, ground units, destroyed. but, uh, like, they for example, if you had the increased energy regeneration rate, you could keep using Leaping Strike over and over again. But, you know, for being able to attack air units and then the increased damage against uh, just everything, it's, it works out pretty darn well. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting Chain Reaction that can attack multiple enemies, and then Heroic Fortitude, that'll increase the life yes. regeneration rate and overall health of oh, Kerrigan. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw my Queen into a hotkey, and I'm going to keep on pumping out these drones. I'm going to completely uh, cap these uh, supply lines, and I supply blocked myself, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get some more Overlords quick. Okay, I'm gonna throw some of these guys over here. The fight begins. Should be able to handle these guys just fine with Kerrigan, no problem. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I think we're gonna build our first uh, Nidus Worm here. First Nidus Network. Okay, and I'm gonna start getting Muscular Augments for the Hydralis. So what that's gonna do is that increase, well, let's see here. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this one first. Increase the movement speed and increase the attack. Well, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this one. Increase the movement speed and attack range Speak. by plus one of Hydralis. Maybe better just to get this one first, Frenzy, but we'll, we'll see here how that works. Okay, I'm going to keep on trying to cap this out here. I'm going to throw my other queen into another hotkey. Then I'm going to throw... My Nidus Worm into Hockey 7, all my Evolution oh, Chambers Hockey 0, and the Hydralis Den, or Lurker Den, into Hockey 9. Complete. There we go here. It's time to oh, I think Nova may have just died, huh? Like yeah, it looks like Nova died. Ah, uh, but he respawned. Now back to it. Uh, respawned Nova, and so we're, we're sitting okay. Okay, we're gonna get attacks, uh, Missile Attacks level 1, and Care Piss level 1 for the ground units. I keep on spawning this creep here, and we'll spawn our first Nidus network. I'm going to throw down, well, yeah, let's see here, get this all saturated. I'm going to throw down another Nidus network here in between the expansions. Out of energy. And then we're going to get this gas saturated and spawn a bunch more drones. Your queen. Then I'm going to waypoint all of my units into these available. Nidus networks here. Enemy combatants in motion. I'll spawn a creep tumor or two. Just get some creeps spread around our base. Main you can only spread uh, these Nidus worms, uh, the, the home Omega network. You can only build those Not on creep. Enough. But you can spawn the other uh, Omega worms wherever you want, as long as you have vision of that area. Here we better go help on. out uh, Nova down there. Is ready, my queen. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we've got a bunch of those guys. Alright, so I'm going to spawn go. another Nidus Network right now. here, I think. Just want them around. We want three of them, and then we want them uh, kind of spaced out around the base so we can get wherever we need to get. Okay, and then no while we're at it, I'm going to spawn another one right down here. And we need to throw them all into a hotkey. So we're going to throw them all into hotkey 7 here. 
Okay, and we need to keep getting upgrades. I'm gonna get uh, seismic spines that'll increase the range of lurkers by th plus three. So that's gonna be really good. Okay, and we're gonna get missile attacks level two and carapace level two in a second here. And I think we're gonna start spawning our uh, hydralis here. And we'll start turning them into lurkers pretty quick here. Not enough energy. There we go. We're gonna save our immobilization wave for now because we're doing fine. Our allies are in combat. Okay, and we have a lot of extra minerals, so I'm gonna spawn. Let's see here. Oh shoot. Okay, let's go. The fight begins. We want these drones out. We want the hydralis back in. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna spawn some extra hatcheries with these guys here. There we go. Okay. Get these hydralis out here. As you can see, instantly, just instantly by the bonus train. Don't even have to worry about running them all the way over there. Really quick. And then Kerrigan's still hammering away at this train up on the top. It's working out really well so far. Okay, let's see here. Let's spawn another one of these guys. We're not going to let this guy get away. And then, to help out, we're going to spawn another network right here, and we're going to take Kerrigan down there. Kill confirmed. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to take out this bonus objective. I have no doubts about that. Oh, and our teammate just used the bomb strike, so that worked out for us, too. Oh, and even better, I guess I forgot about this, your teammate can actually use the Nidus network as well so that's really beneficial oh geez this is not good okay we're gonna spawn this here we let this get out of hand okay we're gonna use this we used the mobilization wave there that was a little scary i let that get out of hand well i suppose my teammate did too but i should have i should have been there all right we gotta kill this lurker couldn't see it, so I used Psionic Shift to kill it. Alright, this is going to be really brutal. Okay, we got a Nova Nuke coming down here. It should be able to take those guys out. There we go. We're not going to give up here. Just got to show you guys, even when things get really nasty, you can still win. Okay, there we go. Let's spawn a bunch more of these drones again. I'm gonna have to get some more queens, unfortunately. Okay, and then we want a bunch more of these hydralis. Okay. And we're gonna spawn a bunch of zerglings because I've got a lot of extra minerals right now. Attack incoming. Let's throw one of these guys down here. Okay, we've got a couple. We've got a couple of these lurkers. We're gonna throw these guys down. Hopefully those zerglings come out real quick, like. Okay, we're not gonna let this get away here. Yes, there we go. Reinforcements. There we go, just look at that. Thought those Nidus worms? That would've been nasty. Okay, we're gonna hop them all back into this Nidus worm here. And then spawn everything out here. And we're going to use a mobilization wave again to take out this nasty, nasty army. Okay. Alright, we need a lot of these overseers. Because everything is... There's a lot of lurkers. They're using lurkers against us, so that's nasty. Okay, got to get these guys back on the line. Okay, got to get this all saturated here. Okay, there we go. That's completely saturated, so we're sitting good there. Okay, got all this there, and then we want a nice, nice worm there. Okay. Explain yourself. All right, and then we're gonna throw this guy there. Okay, and we're gonna spawn a bunch more of these hydralis. Okay, we're gonna send those guys in there. Okay, and we're gonna evacuate everything here. We get these workers burrowed also. Okay, and then I want to get these hydralists turned into lurkers as well. 
it's just a massive ground army really so we can really just spam these lurkers now and i need to start getting some of these high upgrades again so we're gonna get missile attacks and carapace level three seems like we could use a defensive drone oh burrow please there we go okay once we get a bunch of these uh, lurkers up well done <clears throat> then we're not going to have to worry so much force. about uh, these oncoming waves okay, we'll go ahead and kill all this stuff also there we go this really reminds me of uh command and conquer general zero hour for those of you who have played that and seen my playthroughs playing as the gla uh, well, I suppose you wouldn't have seen it, but yeah, in, when you play as the GLA in that game, you have tunnel networks, and you can instantly spawn your units wherever you want as long as you have tunnel networks there. It's so awesome. Okay, we're going to throw down a couple spore crawlers for detection, just in case we don't have overseers. They just don't give up over here, do they? Okay, there we go. Explain yourself. Okay, and I am going to get our increased pneumatized carapace, ready, so that'll increase the movement speed of our overlords. Okay, I want to throw this guy, uh, let's see here, this one back into our hotkey, there we go. Okay, we're going to prepare all of these lurkers, get these guys all burrowed. There we go, everything will get cleared out real quick like. Okay, and we're going to save our mobilization wave because I think these lurkers are going to be able to do the work for us. We're going to spawn a bunch more zerglings. Yeah, look at this. Now we're really having the work done for us. This is great. Absolutely great. We lost the worm back there, but that's okay. Okay, we've got a worm down there. We're going to spawn another one right here just in case. Gotta take out the main objectives first, those are the most important. Okay, and I probably want to get some upgrades for Zerglings. We're gonna get Shredding Claws and Adrenal Overlord. So, Shredding Claws, that takes away the armor of our enemy, and then uh, Adrenal Overlord. Uh, Overload, that is, I think. Oh, gotta finish that up. There we go. Okay, we got the main objective. Of course. I never miss. We're gonna leave those lurkers there for now. And we'll go ahead and take out this main objective with our moving army. Just leaving those lurkers there just in case an enemy a wave comes and tries to take us out. We've gotta be careful of that. Okay. Okay, let's see here. What was I saying? Our forces have met Yes, adrenal overload. That's what it's called. Increases the attack speed of Zerglings by 40%. We'll get hardened carapace and metabolic boost. Oh boy. Ah, uh, it's not that big of an army, but we'll still kill it. This is just awesome. No matter where they are, we can intercept. It's completely awesome. Metamorphosis. Oh, these these lurkers are doing great work. Oh, we only have one left. Jeez, time flies. Okay, we're getting Carapace level 3. And, oh, jeez. Guys, you need to get Frenzy. This upgrade is amazing for your Hydralis. This is a good one, too, Ancillary Carapace, but, yeah, I should have gotten Carapace. I totally missed out on that. Okay, I am going to get some uh, Zerglings, though. Okay, here we go. Looks like the enemy is heading for us. Let's okay, I need all of these lurkers into the Nidus Worm. And we want... Here, we'll just spawn a couple extra Nidus Worms for the heck of it. Okay, we want all of these lurkers burrowed. Very important that we burrow them. Where, where, did, where did Kerrigan go? Oh, there. Okay, and we're going to use the mobilization right here because we can. It's the last train. So why not? Yeah, we've got this completely. Got it easy. Wow, that that was so easy. Didn't even have to run our units across the map at all. Just got to use those those nice worms. And as you can see, pleasure working with you. Oh, we better say GG here. And as you can see, we even lost our expansion there. That enemy wave was destroying our expansion. We popped up a nice worm after our expansion had gone, but we popped up the nice worm, dumped out all of our units, and we were able to kill that wave. And then, 
we just popped back into the Night Swarm and were able to teleport, basically, Burrow to wherever we needed to be. And just instantly, we were there. And I think that actually, you know, saved us. We, we came out on top in that mission. It was not hard at all. So definitely an easy comeback on Brutal Difficulty. And it's not always easy to come back on Brutal Difficulty, that's for sure. So here, let's check out our stats here. Let's see, damage dealt to train. All right, so our teammate did pretty close amount of damage to trains as us, but we did do a little bit more. And oh yeah, we produced a lot of units. But yeah, as you can see, that those that Nidus were in play, the Nidus Nightmare strategy, as Valtour would call it. So very, very effective, very fun too. And I'm definitely gonna start using this from now on. I think it's gonna make Kerrigan a lot more powerful. So hope this was helpful for all of you, and I hope you guys try this out. It's really, really fun and a good strategy. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.